just got back up from a delicious breakfast they had these little sausage dots i called them they were like sausage balls <laughs> they tasted so good they kind of tasted like the meatballs you get on domino's pizza anyway we just got back up to the room we're just getting some money right now because the girls want to go to the spa that's here i have to get this, this goggles. goggles and a floaty this, thing yeah but this not is, a spa spa in the health yeah not health spa like the yeah. shop the spa um so it's like it's like a flamingo we're brewing, but then it's got like a seat that you sit, sit in. It's like a boat type thing, yeah. isn't it? But your legs go in. <laughs> Little Jace is looking adorable this morning, although Chris doesn't like this outfit. I think you're crazy, babe. I don't know. He said, he said, I'm not sure on that outfit. How can you not be sure on it? It's the most gorgeous thing I ever did see. I this is probably his most expensive one as well because I bought it because I loved I it so his much. Head goes that way because. No, his head definitely goes there. Definitely goes there. Anyway, he's just been chilling in his pram this morning. Loving life while we all eat breakfast. Obviously, his sisters are constantly at his side. Isla Ingham. Isla Ingham. Stand here. I've got a bone to pick with you. If you want to be a vlogger, you have to commit and follow through with your promises. Two days ago, when we first arrived, you said, let's do outfit of the day every day. I'm definitely going to do it. I forgot. <laughs> Just joking. Isla said herself this morning, oh no, I didn't do outfit of the day yesterday. Do you want to do it today? Yeah. We've already told them about. Too. Yeah, well, we we'll can't do it. Is he, darling? Oh we can't God. do yesterday's because you've not got it on. But you can do today's. So we've already spoke about everything else. You just need your. Okay. So today yeah. I've got my lovely denim jacket on, and then I've got this really nice play suit. And um, where is this from? That is from Matalan. Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice and comfortable, really nice and, and it was super cheap. That was like four. Four or five He's pounds, and Esme's down. also got it. And then Isabel, do you want to come stand over here? Because you've yeah. also got a matalan. Don't know why you girls are wearing coats. The sun's out and it's boiling today. So hot. Anyway, Isabel's also got a play suit on today. This was also oh, from Matalan, and this was also in the sale. Very, very cute. Yeah. So we've just had a wander down to the spa shop. <laughs> the girls have just found. What are they, Esme? For your pearls. So, is it a clam or something? Yeah, a clam, and then you got it's to open, open it, it and, then, and then put it in there. The different types of clothes you can get than these ones. There's white, cream, peach, Which lavender, or gold. Yeah. The camera's not focusing very good right now, but basically it's a clam in salt water there. You crack it open, crack it open, and you can pop it in one of those. Oh, what you are you doing, Nyla? I know, it's not just showing you that. You can get yeah. white, lavender, cream, yeah. Pink. What have you found? This one. Oh, oh, these look cool. The dummies that you dummies. eat. The dummies that you eat. It's a wishing pearl. It says on the front. Whoa, they're awesome. But we're here for goggles. And then we thought we'd buy this for little Jay, which is so cute. Not because he can sit up obviously and play in the, play in the pool in it. I have a plan for this. I'll tell you more about that when we get back to the hotel. So we just got round the pool. Thankfully the sun is shining today and it's a much, much, much more of a holiday feel. It's awesome. Everyone's out and in the pool, although the pool water is freezing. It's literally like a river back at home. It's so cold and lots of the children and adults are like in and out, in and out, going, it's too cold. But I guess that's because it's the start of the season, it's only May, and also with the rain the last couple of days, it's probably cooled the pool right down if it was at all heated, which I'm not sure it was anyway. But the girls are having fun. Esme and Isla are both in the pool already. Isabel's just sorting out her goggles. Jace is being a bit restless, but he's just currently at the sleep at the side of me, or on me. Um, I've got a cold saw. I don't know if you can see, literally there. And I'm so, so, so getting frustrated with this. I know lots of you guys know that I always get cold sores when we come on holiday from like the sun. 
it's not even been sunny though since we got here and i've not even been out um outside basically in the daylight um so i don't know why i've got one maybe it's something to do with the air conditioning because for the first two days i felt horrendous with like an air conditioning cold i know some of you guys will probably know what i'm talking about when you go on airplanes and you're in hotels and there's air conditioning it always makes my sinuses totally blocked and it's awful maybe my cold sore has got something to do with that either way that's the third cold sore i've had since jace has been born and he's only eight weeks old that's ridiculous all right so we're by the pool the pool heating's not on i don't think it's the pool is cold basically these guys are like yo the pool is cold there's even adults stood by the side that saying to us guys don't do it it's too cold literally everybody is like the pool's too cold so Isla's getting her feet used to it right now she's not gonna jump in Esme was gonna jump in but she changed her mind instead I'm really wet. instead she's gonna go in in this little frog boat yeah and hopefully she won't fall in oh my gosh I'm scared and get used to the water all of a sudden <laughs> Dad, don't push me in I'm not gonna down I won't push you in that's gonna you're gonna go in mate you're just gonna go in I know you are <laughs> that boat's not gonna last. Esme, it's gonna sink. It's gonna sink, Esme. I can't Isla's still contemplating life right now. Oh, 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 she's in. Good girl. How's the water? That flamingo is so cute. Is that nice, Isla? You can just float, right? Yeah. Esme is feeling brave. Are you going in now? Yeah. You're gonna do it? Yeah. She's just heading straight down the slide. One, two, three! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's freezing! It's freezing. Yeah. I'm going again. <laughs> burrito but she's gone to the buffet to get some sauce you can also order from the a la carte menu when you're here as well as the buffet is it show me or delicious here we go oh, sauce. that looks so good so we just finished up with lunch and we're now sat back around the pool esme I can't esme is just making me laugh so much today jace has literally slept the whole day i hope he's not pulling it's just the fact that it's hot and he's like yes darling the fact that it's hot and he's been outside all day maybe it's making him sleepy but he has i've just every time i try and wake him up when he's been asleep for hours he just cries so bad until i put my boob in his mouth and then he falls back asleep feeding and then it's like a vicious cycle he's literally just slept for most of the day today esme i cannot cope with you girl esme's just been sitting in front of me right now doing the most i don't know but she just makes me laugh so much he's so silly 
has a point on it and they've got to race and whoever gets the most points at the end wins the girls are playing with one of our ifam bonnie who unbelievably was staying at a different hotel but they said that the pool at their hotel or her parents said that the pool at that hotel was quite small and when they realized we were staying at this hotel they decided to check out of the hotel they were staying in and check into this hotel instead so that they could meet us and now Bonnie's playing with the girls, which is so, so nice. Hey, little guy just by. Someone's just woken up after a very long sleep, feeling a bit grumpy. Guess what we've got for you, though? A brand new toy. Ooh. We brought this with us all the way from home. Look at this. And he's not been in it yet. We bought it just for this holiday. It's like, okay. No, I spent the last three days stuck to mummy. I don't want to be put down in this chair. <laughs> What's this, Jay? What's this story book? Wow. What is this? So cool. He's like, oh, nah. Lots of bright colours. He's like, not too impressed. Not bothered. You know that age when you're a kid and you uh, you don't feel the coldness of water, you just don't care, you just want to be in it? I have long surpassed that. In fact, I must have surpassed that when I hit 30 I or something. It yet. This one hasn't I surpassed it. it. No, no, let's not play that game anymore. This <laughs> is becoming a, a, a rolling joke, it means Sarah. I'm still on the right side of 35, love. Gracias. <laughs> Isabel's scowling at me right now. Sorry, baby. Gracias. Is that right? Gracias? <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, I have promised the girls today that I will get in the pool. Typically, I've left it all the way till the end of the day when the sun has gone away <laughs> and it's probably not going to be too warm. But I think I'm going to have to brave it and do it. Well, then, if you weren't a wuss and, like, just if you just got in when it was sunny and you weren't being a wuss, like, I I'll come in in a minute. Oh, wait, I just need to go do something to be upstairs. Fair to Dad, he was about to get in. And then we met some of our iFam that came over to our hotel, the lovely Katie and Jessica and the pet. And her yeah. Mom. And we did just sit and chat to them for about half an hour. So that's probably why. Well, yeah, that's my excuse. The sun was out for that's longer than reason. half an hour. <laughs> no, that's my excuse. I'm going with that one. I what didn't an get excuse. Him. That wasn't... Oh, busted. That's my busted. excuse. <laughs> and now the sun's gone, so I just can't... I won't be able to come in today. I'm sorry, babe. Ah, you promised us! <laughs> See, look at that. How can I say no to that? Hey. You don't say Oh, dear. <laughs> No, you get in the pool, you deserve it. That took my breath away. Look at these two little men. Oh, Terry. Sat editing the vlog. <laughs> sorting the vlog out. Oh, Terry. <laughs> I just actually got to use my first look at, well, it's actually Isabel who said it first. Look at all of us girls getting ready in the bathroom. And then I said, yeah, and all the boys in the living room. Yeah. Instead of just being, and dad in the living room. And dad. And dad. And the boys in the living room. So cute. Anyway guys, as Chris just said, we are going to head out for dinner tonight. Um, <clears throat> just because, oh my coleslaw is really irritating me today. I don't know if it's because I've not had them like on the corner of my mouth for such a long time. These things that I usually use just ooh, seem to be taking longer to work. Anyway guys, we're about to head out for dinner. We've decided that we're going to go and try one of the restaurants that we've seen as we've been walking to the beach. There's been so many that look really nice. Did you say come on Terry? Come on Terry. Um. <laughs> it's not called Terry, it's Terry Dactyl. Uh, I don't know if we're going to the beach tonight, Sita. We are going out for dinner, so we'll see you guys when we get there. So I said I'd meet you guys down at the restaurant when we got there, but actually, <laughs> we just was passing the reception 
area and the bar and decided that actually should we stop and have a quick drink because the drinks are just so good at this hotel and there's so many to choose from and it's our mission to get through them during our stay here so we've stopped for some drinks the girls went for non-alcoholic obviously <laughs> cocktails this is a strawberry mojito they've taken it's a bit so of the lime nice. they love them they're your favorite right yeah. They are divine. Isabel went for a non-alcoholic pina colada. Uh, non pina colada. It looks so good. Chris went for a, what did you go for? A, it's called a love on the beach. A love on the beach, which looks so good. And I have no idea what mine was called, but it looks delicious. <laughs> hotel <laughs> a lovely restaurant just down the street pretty much next to our hotel and it looks so nice I think the girls chose this restaurant with the lure of the bouncy castle that was right in the front foyer of the restaurant which obviously people who are eating here can use however I think they very quickly discovered that bouncing in a enclosed bouncy castle with lots of the children on it in this heat is no fun so they're all back around the table right now anyway food has just arrived jace has not been a good boy <laughs> no i'm only joking he's been quite happy having snuggles with daddy right now but food just arrived except chris's he's got pizza and we're still waiting on that coming me and isabel went for a chicken paella chicken and vegetable which looks so good we've still got some more over there Isabel, I mean Esme, <laughs> Esme and Isla, what did you girls go for? Chicken nuggets and chips. Batman. Batman. Isabel, how you find the paella? It's good. It's so delicious. So we just came out of the restaurant and it was really, really nice, but I've just missed a really nice sunset over behind the mountain. Oh, it still looks really good. I hope the camera's picking that up. It's probably not at all. There we go, it's a bit better, maybe not. Anyway, you get the gist guys, it looks really really pretty. It's really really bad that we went out for dinner to a restaurant but we're hurrying back to the hotel to get dessert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the desserts probably. are really good. <laughs> they are really good to be fair. <laughs> yes, that's what we're doing. We're scurrying back to the hotel to go for desserts because the menu at this restaurant doesn't have the best desserts. So It did, it did have some but just none that we like. So. Yeah, so we're, we're going, going to head back and have that. Get the all inclusive selection on. But then we just walked past the spa next to the hotel and they've got some really amazing ice creams. They have Look like at these bad boys. Snickers, wait, Twix, Mars bar. I'm not interested in these ones. I'm interested in these bad boys on here. Where are they? <laughs> the the bueno, bueno ice creams. No, this side. Oh, yeah, that we're talking. We've got Magnums. We've got my favorite Magnums Ooh. somewhere. Double caramel. There we go. Sorry. I might get white Magnums. And we've got some. Oh, look at that twister. Wait, that twister looks like an ice cream we used to have ages ago called a Sydney. A Sydney? Uh, comment below if you know what a Sydney is, guys, because it's. Hmm. Daddy, I think I it's retro now. now. Those look so this good. This looks really good. Whilst those guys are all choosing some ice creams, I came in here as well because I want to grab some editing snacks for tonight because I always need bear snacks on the night time to keep me awake when I'm editing and I don't have none. I have run out. And spa shops abroad have the best snack selections ever. What have you found, Isabel? Macaron. Ooh. Ooh OMG. And there's so much here. Look, look at these. That's what we could do. Yeah, you guys. <gasps> well, I just thought of such a good idea. I could do like a sweet challenge, trying out Spanish sweets. And we could start with this first. That's actually not Spanish sweet. Well, it might be, but we've got them in the UK. Yeah, what's this ice cream we've got, is it? Oh, a bueno. Like, literally the size of my finger. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's like a one stick bueno. I'm going to do the real and fake challenge, so you have to get a bag. And you have to like try and get the real one. If you get the big one, then That's you have to idea, eat man. it all. Yeah, man. One yeah, man. Go. Like, go. Like, you go. Like, if you if you like add that in one go, in so one go. Why should we pick up? Um, I got a pop up. A pop up one. Yeah. That looks really nice. And what would you like for your snack? Hey. He's like, mummy, please get something juicy so that I can taste it in the milk. But I don't want nothing. I'm too full. Oh, he's been a very good boy right now. I can't say the same for the whole of that meal. <laughs> that he was a very good boy. Meal times has literally become me eating down as very quickly as I can. Very quickly as I can sound like you. In very, the word very, a very lot of you. 
<laughs> no, it doesn't make sense at all. Who else has noticed that Chris always writes a very lot of you? Anyway, me ramming food down as quickly as I possibly can, and then Chris doing the same taking the turns to hold Jay. Yeah. Because at meal time for some reason he always gets fussy. Really fussy. I know since that we're all good. But now you're being a good boy, right? <laughs> now he's like, no I'm not, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm a good boy. I'm always a good boy. I'm a little I'm just you It know, looks like butter wouldn't melt, that's why. Sometimes it looks. I just don't know what I want in life. <laughs> We just got done watching some Netflix all together. The girls have gone to bed. Jace is currently having his last feed and going to sleep right now because he's super, super tired. So I've just come outside to end the vlog and say goodnight to all of you guys. So tomorrow is set to be a Scorchio here and fingers crossed it definitely will be. And we're heading down to the beach in the morning which I'm really, really looking forward to. It's gonna be so, so good. Possibly rent some jet ski, possibly do some water slide thing, I don't know, but we're gonna have a lot of fun regardless. So make sure you come back tomorrow and check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and we'll see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night guys.